Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a mailbox, a cute mailbox if we can do that. Uh, it's going to be simple, easy, and for beginners. Um, we're going to be using this. This is a Crayola brand marker and then regular printing paper. Uh, so you don't have to use these tools. You can definitely use them if you want. Um, you can use any kind of paper and you can use a pencil if you like, if you find that easier. Um, but I do recommend a marker. It looks better. And I think when you start using marker, it gets you um, on a very good mindset of like, oh, you don't like, you don't like, you don't have to erase all the time. You know, you can just kind of boom, take risks. Uh, but like I said, so you're up to you. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a straight, straight line across here, top, at top of that mailbox. Before, before that though, I'm gonna have this little lever to show that there's mail in it come across, pull back, pull down, pull in, and then we're going to continue to have it downward here. Circle right there, kind of with that lever, because it's kind of like the, uh, yeah, I think you pull it right when you put mail in it. You put it up. Line over here to continue that line across. Um, also, if you know any um, inanimate objects you want drawn on here, let me know. I'm drawing everything under the sun on this channel, like like everything. So definitely, if you have any, anything, any recommendations for something I might not have drawn. Um, before you make a recommendation though, go look and see if, I may, if I've actually done a video on it yet. Because sometimes I'll have people recommend me stuff I've done like a bunch of times. Um, let me pull down a, out a little bit, just out, like a little notch. And then down a notch. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across here. Go upward. pull that little notch I was talking about. See a little notch right there? A little lever. Up a little bit. In a little bit. Also, if you like uh, learning a little bit about art every single day, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that subscribe button right now. I'm going to be posting three times every single weekday. So that is going to be 15 times per week. I post at 10 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 5 p.m. And that is on Pacific time. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of videos, a lot of lessons. Everything's for beginners. Everything is for beginners. So um, absolutely, you know, uh, if my stuff here is worth your time, uh, you know, please consider subscribing. It kind of helps me organize and it, it'll, it's only going to give you like a video every every third video to let you know. Uh, you know what I mean? Just so it won't overwhelm your feed or anything. So I'm going to kind of pull line up here a little bit. But not entirely and I'm gonna have the letter so I'm gonna uh, let's let's start right here pull that little notch upward right that same there's gonna be a little rim at the bottom in pulling up curve almost like a gravestone shape you know it's gonna be curve around and before that happens though I'm gonna draw a letter sticking out, which is just going to be like a square. So, oh no, there's a letter over here. I'm just going to have it like, like that. You can draw it bigger, you can draw it smaller, it's kind of up to you. And I'm going to draw a little heart, well, I'll draw a little heart on it. down here, line down here, to show that it's a letter, right? The back of a letter. I'm going to throw a line across, show these two connect, and I'm going to draw a line over here, show these two connect. I'm going to draw a line across here.
Alrighty, so we got the general mailbox down. You can you can do any design you want on the actual mailbox. Um, and even though this this door over here is, is open, go right here and with the side of the marker, and you can just kind of fill that in to show that you know that this is an open mailbox. For us to show it even more, we are going to draw a straight line down. And we're going to try to draw this shape, but down here, that's going to be the open door, like the little panel is open. Uh, so line down here, here, and there's going to be a curve, like so. Line out, curve up. To kind of put like a little bit of thickness on that door it's usually like a little thin metal gate um, all right so let's go over here to the actual post line down just a straight line down another straight line down that's pretty close to it and then like another straight line here And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna throw like a bush here, like just a zag, zigzaggedy bush. Um, Cause it just kind of looks cool instead of just having it stuck in the ground. I'd rather have it um, be kind of presentable. And so it just kind of looks like it's in a real environment. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you could also draw maybe uh, some very, very thin lines over here to, to simulate wood of the post. It's very thin, wiggly lines. Um, but that, and also one last thing you can do, draw a line over here maybe, draw a line over here, and you can actually shade that in. It'll look like a shadow on the post itself, which makes it look more uh, real. I'll draw a line over here as well to show like a little bit of a lip on this side, lip on that side for some curvature. Um, and that is it. Uh, thank you so much if you made it to this far into the lesson. Um, and if you do like what I do here, there is something you can do to help the channel out and that is sharing a video. When you share a video, it gives the channel a gigantic boost of positive energy. Um, and it's just like fun and happy and it makes my entire week. It really does because people are so nice on here. Um, I'm extremely lucky. And uh, yeah, just to be able to do this. Um, and that's kind of it. Thank you so much. If you did make it to this point, say hi to me in the comment section and I will I will reply to every single comment. So if, you're, if you say hi in the comment section, I'll know that you got to this very point in the video at the very end. Uh, this is Easy Pictures to Draw and I'll see you next time.